Today we will uh, learn how to uh, insert a new pens uh, within uh, a Trendworks uh, uh, viewer. So here I have uh, my Trendworks uh, viewer object. I'm inside uh, Graphworks in configuration mode and then I insert it from the controls uh, bar up here selecting the Trendworks uh, viewer object. To configure it now I can double click on it and uh, this object is called a chart. Each chart can be plotted in different ways. We have learned about these settings into a different uh, training session and then now we can take a look about uh, the options that I have to configure a pen. First of all uh, to insert a pen I select a plot, I right click on it and then I can add a single pen or multiple pens when uh, for example our data regarding uh, one uh, equipment altogether. Then selecting the pen I can assign a name to this pen that we will display, be displayed in runtime mode then I will need to select the data source for this pen and here you can see all the different multiple data sources that I have available within the Iconix products. So um, it can be from uh, the asset navigator, it can be directly as an IoT value, it can become, it can come from the analytics BI solution and then underneath data connectivity it can be backnet value can come from a database can be directly a Modbus value or any type of OPC data access OPC UA can be an SNMP value or can come directly from web services also this can be an historical pen uh, coming from our data archivers such as Hyperhistorian or Trendworks SQL uh, 64. This can also come from other different uh, sources. I can plot also some other different type of information. So what I've done here today, I selected a plot from my uh, data access and I selected under simulations, I selected uh, ramp signal. So here I have it and then I can uh, set some specific uh, advanced parameters right now. So if I want the system will auto detect it for me directly understanding which type of variable this is if I should get it from the historical uh, point of view or through the real-time channel otherwise I can configure it myself deciding to use the uh, OPC data access connection or the historical data access connection or in case this might be a, a data set from the analytics BI solution and then which other type of filters I want to uh, set for this. Now I can decide if this tag is going to be enabled yes or not when I go in runtime so if the chart should be plotted or not I can apply a description uh, which will appear as a tooltip in runtime mode I can specify which units if it's going to be a percentage or if it's going to be a bar uh, anything and then I can decide which numeric format and if I leave uh, the box up here you will see that C will correspond to currency D decimal E exponential, F fixed point, G is general, N is a number, which is what I want now, P percent, and X hexadecimal. Uh, I can decide also to custom data this in case I want to do some data manipulation. Time settings for each single pen, I can specify which specific time zone I want this pen to be plotted, and this is a setting to make this plot an ideal pen. The ideal pen is a line that in runtime mode will not shift, will stay uh, frozen and will uh, display the best profile for a certain value which happened during the time. And over here, will uh, I will understand when the uh, best profile has happened and select which tag is this related to. Then I set up the style 
for this line uh, the graphic style the visualization style the opacity simple style uh, which color i want this uh, uh, line to be which feeling color i want this to be what i should specifically do uh, in case i don't receive the value correctly for this pen and so on. ranges uh, same thing for each single pen I can decide to specify a specific range or um, the pen will automatically uh, get the uh, global range I specified at charting level if I turn it on then I can divide each single parameter for each single pen as far as values, I can in a runtime mode set and enable four different horizontal lines, which will express me uh, when the uh, value visually, graphically, is underneath or is exceeding different uh, thresholds. Uh, be careful, this does not mean that I'm generating alarms right here, but I'm just setting uh, graphically some lines uh, that will help me understand when uh, a signal is approaching uh, some specific limit. I can decide to plot a pen as a totalized pen. At the end, I can then set up and select some other advanced uh, features uh, which can be dedicated for advanced users. This concludes the uh, pen uh, description and its own settings.